See, we have come very far in terms of technological advancements in movies with all those high-tech 8K cameras to heavy rigs, shot stabilizing gimbals to high caliber drones. All these technological advantages are equally used in Nepali movies, which helps the cinematographers in achieving the amazing shots. Technological advancement has made it possible to present us with the complicated and aesthetic looking shots. While I applaud and praise our movie industry in achieving such a technical marvel, sadly, I am equally sad when it comes to basic movie making and visual literacy. Camera is a medium to capture the action happening, but its uses is boundless. The French New Wave had completely revamped how we had been perceiving the use of camera. The handheld cameras with techniques like shaky shots, long takes, etc. were used to reimagine the uses of camera as a narrative style in itself. Here, camera is used as a pen or a paintbrush to create a masterpiece. Now, camera is used not just as a media to capture what's happening in the scene, but is now being used to represent the vast area of visual storytelling. So, before diving into today's topic, I just want you to introduce to the some of the shots that are used in filmmaking. Shots range from establishing shots to low angle shots, high angle shots, over the shoulder, wide shot, medium shot, medium full or cowboy shot, medium close up, close up shot, extreme close up shot to the today's topic which is the Dutch angle or Dutch tilt shot. We are just going to talk about this particular shot called Dutch Angle in this video. So, I shall explain all those remaining shots further in detail in my other videos. Like every other shots, Dutch Angle also serves its purpose. Dutch Angle is basically a shot where the frame is slightly tilted from its axis. This cinematic technique is used to portray a psychological uneasiness or tension in the subject or scenes being filmed. Saying that the tilted camera angles that are straight in reality, we become disoriented as our eyes try to adjust to the tilted environment. When a character makes a devastating realization, a slight tilt of the camera can make the moment even more uncomfortable for us as a viewer, even on a subconscious level. Not many filmmakers are literate in terms of incorporating these cinematic elements in the movies rather than gimmicky drawn shots, high colored saturated shots and exotic locations. Dutch angle has been used in movies previously but it was rather just out of cool looking gimmick or else. So before I list out the movies, a quick recommendation. If you are into movie making and want to learn more about its technical aspects, there is a podcast by our young filmmaker Anil Neopane whom you might know from the short movies like Bob, Nifty and Thirsty. Do check it out. I shall put the link in the description. So let's start today's video with top 5 Nepali movies that uses Dutch angle properly. At number 5 we have Talak Jung vs Tulke. Talak Jung vs Tulke was second directorial feature of Nishchal Pasnet and was based on the play of the same name which was instead inspired from a novella The True Story of RQ written by Chinese writer Lu Sun. It is a story of prideful but gullible Talak Jung who is on a constant path to earn respect that he deserves from the people near him. The movie is a journey of Tulke to become Talak Jung and has some intense fight and confrontation sequences where the use of Dutch angle was seemed optimum and the director Nishal Basnet and the DOP Sher Badur Lama have used this method creatively. Moving on to the list, at number 4 we have Loot. Loot is considered as the path-breaking cinema of Nepal which introduced new style of filmmaking and tried to revamp movie making style by changing the mundane narrative style. Directed by Nishal Basnet, Loot was the story of mastermind Haku Kale and his plan of heist which would make him rich and powerful. Since Nishal was well knowledge about cinematic techniques, he have used these techniques in the movie as well. And the use of Dutch angle was very situational and to the point rather than gimmicky. <laughs> Sangan Panisala Kastu Kukura Sangan 
Uma. We all know the name Chiring Ritar Sherpa, who was the pioneer of independent Nepali movement in cinema. His movie Mukundo, The Mask of Desire, was official entry of Nepal to the Oscars. His other movies include Karma and the web series Singadarwar. The one we are going to talk about today is his last movie Uma. Uma was a political and social war drama which starred actors like Mithila Sharma, Sohgat Malla and Richa Sharma. The movie includes one scene which properly uses the Dutch angle where the teacher is being dragged away for interrogation by the police and Uma with his other friends are left out clueless trying to comprehend what's happening in the situation. We can clearly feel the tension arising in the scene when the Dutch angle is introduced. Sobele samal So at number 2 we have Fit Kitty. The movie stars Sokat Malla in the lead role with supporting cast of Dia Maske, Anu Baral and is also directed by Anu Baral. The movie revolves around a story of a cop who is battling out with his own personal problems with that of solving a complicated case. See how director Anu Baral and DOP Prashantam Pradhan uses dust angle to show off the tense scene of interrogation and truth revelation. The more the protagonist finds out the shocking revelations throughout the movie, the dust angles are introduced in those scenes. Badke ko ghar Risa ki budi ra birani choro chhodera sala esto chutia ko pachi lagnu parne. So finally at number 1 we have a indie movie KTM Cocktail. As I have already mentioned on my top underrated list, KTM Cocktail is worth a watch. KTM Cocktail was a crime drama which was directed and conceptualized by Anushka Roniar. As the subject and the plot of the movie is quite gore and dark, it involves various dark scenes. The use of Dutch angle is done quite brilliantly here. If you give proper attention, the whole movie is a rep- representation of a Dutch angle. From the movie's opening credits, to the ending credits everything is tilted at an angle which tries to hint us about the psychological tension between the characters introduced the whole movie is a psychological trip into the minds of its protagonist to check this movie so that was the video for today guys i believe more literate movie makers would come into the scene and make this mundane cinema rather colorful with the literacy and present us with some masterpieces like that of godard and truffaut If you think I'm contributing enough on our ne- Nepali movie making scenario kindly like the video comment what you think and subscribe to the channel I'll meet you on the next video till then au revoir